All right, guys, welcome back. And um, we're going to do a little driver fit today with uh, one of Matt's former colleagues at Richmond Hill Golf yep. Club. A lot of you don't know that Matt was was uh, in a former life uh, uh, a club professional. Yeah, wasn't that long ago. Wasn't but, that long uh, ago. Yeah, it feels, feels like a lifetime ago, but yeah. Yeah, so we're super lucky to have Paul Davies from uh, Richmond Hill Golf Club, the new yep. director of instruction. That's right. Okay, so a lot of you guys will be familiar with some of the other videos we've done with Sean Clement and... Uh, Sean's actually moving on uh, to, to work uh, up in Quebec and uh, Paul is uh, stepping in his place. So he is, yeah. We're going to uh, do a little driver fit with Paul today. Yes, so I, uh, Paul and I have played golf for the last, what, 10 years, Val? Well, something if, like that? Yeah, at least, at least so 10, we've, maybe we've, years. Uh, we've seen each other swing many times. Paul, Paul is by far the most responsible for my, my game. He's been right. my golf mentor. Bro, and and that, that goes a long way for all the compliments <laughs> we yeah, get on, yeah. on your game on the channel. Yeah, so Paul, uh, yeah. Paul's wisdom has kind of taken me a long way. But, and right. you'll see our swings are actually have some good similarities. Similar. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're obviously a lot of the, the viewership that we're getting are south of the border. And yeah. You'll see another lefty swing, which, uh, yeah. which you'll love. We see them here in Canada. So, That's you know, why I said too bad. We there's embrace of, it. There's lefties up here. Absolutely. Get used to it. Yeah. Without yep. a shadow of a doubt. So um, this is going to be a big thing we do in the channel now. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a lot of club fittings and yes. show the guys some of the intricacies of the fit. Uh, we're getting a lot of good feedback on that. The feedback we've heard is that people just love seeing the yeah. full process. Yeah. Um, yeah. Taking someone that, so for example, with Paul, we play a ton of golf. And, right. uh, and to me, I know club fitting wise, yeah. he could pick up just some better performance from Without his driver. It's it. probably an okay fit. Yeah. And ironically, Paul probably consulted with me about that driver, sure. right? I like did, three yeah, years ago. Absolutely. So your knowledge is obviously makes me look like a bit of a clown in comparison. <laughs> but like we, you know, we thought it was a pretty good fit and it, it's okay. Yeah. But Paul's swing is really good and he mm. could be hitting it, I think, way further, way straighter. Yeah. Uh, and in technology as well, I mean, uh, so guys, Paul's using a Ping G30, mm -hmm. um, using, a, using Ping's own Tour 65 stiff shaft, which is a really, actually, a really high end shaft. Ping design all their own shafts, they design all their own bend profiles to complement uh, the head at that, that particular time and then they outsource it to certain companies who then uh, make them. So right. it's all using the highest end products uh, and quality materials. So um, it is, it's a really high end product. Some stock shafts are not made the same. Yeah, those um, are the only ones that you guys really carry, right? It is. We, we, it's the only, uh, only company we actually have their stock shafts on our wall. We may have it in another part of the shop in a, in a, in a, in a drawer somewhere yeah. that somebody can try. We, we do have Callaway and Ping and other right. and, and tailor made shafts, but this is one that we actually know is a particularly good shaft. So yeah, I'm not surprised, Paul, that you've, you've kind of stuck with that. Yeah. And it served you pretty well, hasn't it? Has. It has. It's been pretty good for the last, uh, say, three, yeah, about three years. Yeah. Yeah. Years, three, years, three, years. four years now. Yeah. Good. And um, so, you know, it's a slightly different fit in that we're not trying multiple brands. You are a Ping staff player, so Ping we, staff we've player, got to yeah. say that. Yeah. Um, so we're looking within the Ping range. So G400, G400 Max. Correct. One of those particular uh, heads in there of the four um, is going to be what we're looking at. I was texting Paul about the G400 Max after our video yeah. last week, just telling him, you know, he'll probably love this driver. Yeah, no, I know. I have a feeling that, I mean, it may not fit him as well as it fit me, but it's it's so worth trying, even yeah. for a player of his skill. Without a doubt. Yeah. So, Paul, tell us a little bit about the game and, and some of the, the kind of the background on the driver. So, yeah, my I've, games, obviously, the last few years, and I've been playing as much as I want. Right. Not getting out to work on it as much as I want. But, yeah, with the driver, it's just, it's, it's, some days it's really good. Other yeah. days there's a bit of a miss, and it kind of, I get that kind of quick hook. Mm -hmm. And that kind of start on line, high, blocky fade. Right. Uh, feels like hit it pretty, pretty solid most of the time, but the ball kind of wants to go both directions. Okay, so, so you're not really seeing the, a pattern that you can really A pattern really where I can go, okay, to. this is what I got today. This is what I'm going to be able to, to, okay. to shape on a fairway. It's yeah. Sometimes it's a little bit of a, a guessing game out yeah. there. Yeah, kind absolutely. of aim at the middle of the fairway. If it fades a little bit, I'm okay. If it draws a little bit, I'm okay. Yeah. And if it kind of goes straightish, I'm okay with that too. Right, right. So I mean, and sometimes that's, I feel it gets a little spinny as well. Yeah, kind of blooms and, and up I've on noticed that exactly yeah, from, from when we play golf together. I mean, he's got plenty of speed, and right. he definitely your landing, the way your ball lands, yeah. soft. Okay, definitely lands okay. soft. Little and, excess spin. Yeah, and again, like in terms of the quality of your swing, it's it just it's holding you back. I think there's probably something we can mm -hmm. we can get him that's going to help him okay. bring that in a little bit. Let's have you. Yeah. All right, let's Here take go. a look at it. All right. Really nicely done there. And uh, you kind of made a, a reference earlier, we were chatting, Paul, like, 
you, that's your almost your first tee swing. First tee swing, yeah, where I don't really go yourself after. And, yeah, yeah. You I try to stay very calm, very relaxed. Just if it's kind of a, a tournament play or something like that, I'll just make that little little swing and hit that little kind of yeah. soft little fade out there just to find the fairway and see who, uh, and get the day started. And I think a lot of people watching this can can really take something from that advice that. You know, on the first tee, work your way into the round. Yeah. You know, that's an important thing. You don't have to stand up there trying to gun one down well, the first Well, everyone has those first tee jitters. You know, it doesn't matter if you're playing in a professional event, you're playing with your buddies, you're playing in the league. The yeah. first tee, everyone gets an anxious no moment. Question. And 100%. let's just get the, uh, get the ball going forward with that at the time. beginning. That was a really good start. So, yeah, I mean, I can see what you guys are saying. You know, a fraction low in the launch, a fraction high in the spin. You know, we're looking at it being nine millimeters low of the equator of the club. So there's a, you're going to get a little gearing from that little downward tilt on the on the launch, and you're yep. going to get a little raise of the backspin. So you guys described it, it perfectly. So Paul, let's hit a couple more. Okay. And there's the other one. Okay, so there's the one we turn over a little bit. Yep, that, that's me trying to give it a, just a little bit more. Or a little bit, uh, a little more zip to that one. Sure, yeah. That was a little better strike, a little higher in the face. Mm -hmm. Actually, pretty much dead center. What do you think gets you in more trouble, Paul? Like that shot? or That Paul? shot. Yeah, that shot gets me gets, a lot yeah. more trouble, yeah. Because yeah. that hits the ground and kind of tumbles and keeps on going. Yeah, I mean, we, we've been answering a lot of questions yeah. on, on that, on the power fade video. We and just did a video like, about that. Yeah. You know, why, why is the fade more forgiving than, than the, the draw? And why, you know, why are you guys saying that? What is it that makes the fade more forgiving? And, mm -hmm. and it's that, that right there, you know, the, the draw tends to kind of fall out the sky a mm -hmm. little bit, you know. and Hits the ground and runs. Yeah, without a doubt. Well, you've, you've picked up there <clears throat> close to four miles an hour ball speed, um, yet you've picked up Actually, you've dropped seven yards yeah. right. um, because sure. that ball's kind of you know fallen out the sky yeah, a little bit. You've ball. lost some launch angle, uh, lost a little backspin. So the things that create forgiveness in flight are are, are gone. Uh, that even right. though you generated a little bit more ball speed. So right. good example of that. Right. Let's see a couple more, Paul. Okay. There's the. That good one, one felt really good. That's There's good. the good one. Really nice there. Carried a lot further there. Yeah, really nice balanced flight. So, I mean, honestly, uh, you know, I think uh, you've shown me what you've described, which is kind of when we're doing the consultation part of the fit. As long as I'm seeing what you've described, I yeah. don't really need to see that too, that many shots from you. I'll learn more as we go, but right. that you've, you've told me what happens. Yeah. You've those are, those, are, those are pretty much my three shots on yeah. the course right there. Yeah, without a doubt. Okay, so launch it without a doubt is a little bit, uh, a little bit on the low side, spin on the high side. Uh, the peak height works out to about the right amount. We just get there slightly in a less than optimal way. I'd like right. your launch to be higher, your spin to be lower, and okay. to net out around that 90 feet, 90 to 100 feet. Would okay. Be good. Okay, and so 90 to 100 is kind of the ideal that for would be good majority, for majority of golf, golf shots. Yeah, for, for, for your swing speed. And, and the, the, the golfers we see, so if you're, if you're tend to be you know, swinging six iron around 80 miles an hour I'm and about, driver I'm around. About, yeah, I'm about 89 yep. miles an hour or so. Right, so I mean, typical good player then. So you're, you're 89 miles an hour with a six iron, about 109 with a driver. Good players separate six iron to driver by about 20 uh, miles an hour. Okay. That's an indication that you have really good kinematic sequence. The less you separate six iron to driver, the worse your sequencing is, which basically means right. when you ask for more speed, you can't produce it. Right. Right. So that's right. something we see a lot in fits is that some people who are very quick with irons and aren't so quick in the driver, it's a, it's a bit of a sequencing, a sequencing okay. issue. It's interesting. Yeah. Cool. One thing I would comment on just looking at um, his club delivery numbers. Yep. So he's got a really nice uh, upward angle of attack. For sure. And we've had this conversation. You said two up is like super sweet. That's, That's what, what you I like want. It. Yeah. yeah, so Paul's really delivering it nicely. But even having that nice delivery, it's still launching kind of low. Yeah. It's still mm. spinning kind of high. So to me, yep. not knowing even that much, I would say there's no way that that head mm. is the perfect fit for him. Yeah. It should be, you know, with those delivery numbers, he should be getting some more launch and spin if it was the correct fit. No question. The biggest thing that's robbing Paul of that right now is contact point. Mm. 
Um, so with, with all the delivery uh, sort of parameters in place that we really like, um, the two up, the 17 degrees dynamic uh, loft, which is really, really good. That's, that should be leading to a, a longer drive than mm, that, okay. but it's, it's going to rob you of a little bit of that just because the, uh, the low, strike low is the a face. little bit oh, inefficient. Now, yeah. you know, shafts play a huge role in strike point. The deflection of the shaft will, will change how much upward or, or you know, how much you maintain that sweet spot position. So, you know, we can alter strike point yes. with, dy with the dynamics uh, of the shaft. That's one right. of the, the most amazing things that I found. The, probably, what was that, like the first time I ever came to mm -hmm. see you, yep. and I had some drivers with you, and you, you pretty much just changed the shaft, and mm -hmm. I said to you, I feel like my entire golf swing felt different. Yeah. Because the way that the shaft delivered the club head, mm -hmm. it was night and day. Yeah, yeah. And I think for most people, they think, I fit a shaft because I want the right launch and I want the right spin. And what is that? Maybe half the story? Like it's not even that. Yeah, so it's, it's a fraction of it. Exactly. Yeah, it's, uh, that's the basics. Like if gotcha. you want to become a, a fitter, those are the basics. Yeah. You learn launch and spin and ball speed and those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. When you become uh, slightly more accomplished, you learn how to influence the swing with the club you give the player. Absolutely. So you start to help their time and you start to maybe encourage a slightly different face-to-path relationship. Yeah. All these sorts of things start to occur. And that's the type of experience that you haven't had yet. Right. Like, Paul's, again, like really good player, but mm -hmm. has never had that, and I hadn't had it either, the experience to say, take my swing and give me the absolute best. Right. And that's what the, all these tour players have that. They're yeah. not going out there with the, I mean, they may be a little off if they didn't get yeah. the best advice, yeah. but they have the shaft that gives them yeah, the ball play they want. No like question. It's huge factor. Okay. Right, let's, uh, let's get something new in yeah. your hands. All let's right. get to work. Looking forward to it. Cool. Can't wait. All right. Let's see what we got here. Okay, Paul, so uh, changed a couple of things up based on what we saw there, and you described your, your launch characteristics perfectly for us. A little bit low, occasionally a little low right. We haven't seen the left one yet, so mm -hmm. you know, let's, let's see how this progresses. But this is the first time you've seen a small-headed ping driver in a few years, I'm guessing. Yes. This is the yeah. first time you've, you've looked at the 445 right. CC head. You're used to the, the G30 profile, yeah. which is the, the more compressed, compressed large long, head. long, yes. Okay, so how does the first impressions and, and the look and stuff, I know you've seen it, but now First impression looks good. Frames um, the ball nicely? Yeah, no, I'm, it's, it, it's very, very appealing to the eye for sure. Yeah, okay, good. Right, well, we've changed the loft. Uh, we've taken you from nine actually up to 10. Okay. Um, so we're going to try and uh, see if we can raise the launch, but I put you in the LS Tech. Okay, so a few things about the LS Tech that make it lower spin. And, and one of them which is really interesting, which most people don't really know too much about, is actually the, the face is, is much rougher than a standard yeah. uh, ping driver. We barely touched on that like months ago, but that's well, yeah. really interesting stuff. Right, so trying right. to, uh, trying to increase it. the friction between mm -hmm. ball and club head will, will basically lower um, spin loft a little bit in order to try and kind of get the, the spin just to knuckle a fraction more. Are they the only ones doing that? They are the only ones who are openly uh, like saying that, 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 that that's a technology for them. Gotcha. Yeah. So it does change from LS Tech to G to SF Tech to G400. Hmm. There, there, there are different textures on the face. Very cool. cool. Okay. Cool. Right. Let's, right. Uh, let's uh, hit a few and hopefully we've got some higher, lower spinning shots. Okay. See, with my old driver, that one would have went dead right. Mm. Okay. It felt like that was that dead right kind of yeah. swing again. Hmm. And I was just saying to Paul as I was setting this one up for him, one of the things I was really looking for with LS Tech is to try and kind of give him the, the sense that the driver sits a little open and mm -hmm. he doesn't, you don't feel like you're going to miss it to the right. right. Yeah. So I want to give right. you that confidence that yeah. you can have a good, you know, good aggressive swing at it without feeling like you're going to hook it. Okay, so... We've talked about the influence of just the look of a club head yeah. in a bunch of videos. Oh, yeah. I, I think it makes a massive difference. If, if you look down on it and it just, for whatever, like you're saying, the, yep. the, the look of the head, the shape, maybe the loft, mm -hmm. can completely change the way you actually swing. Definitely, definitely. Okay, let's, uh, let's see a couple more. Okay. That one felt nice. That was very good. Love that one. Wow. That is a really different flight. Ooh, different. One more he yard. Likes it. One more yard. 
Wow. It's always devastating when you finish at 2.99. Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> 2.99.9. There should be automatic <laughs> default in the yes. software that if you hit it, Round it 2.99, <laughs> let's, just flip it. let's just turn it one more over. That's uh, how you know we're not editing. We yeah. love to have 2.99. Without a doubt, that was excellent. And you know what I love uh, about that one is that it had the exact same ball speed as the last one with your driver. Mm. Okay. Okay, 158, 158. Yep. But like we said, we we wanted to increase the launch, lower the spin. Right. Okay, so yeah, let's have that. a look at strike point. A little bit higher, but not massively yeah, it, different. It, I was just gonna say that yeah. can't be that can't be enough to really matter. That you know that was what five six hundred RPM spin and quite a lot three yeah. degrees of launch. Like that's huge. Without a doubt, let's actually see what the measurement was. Yeah, seven. So a ten millimeter difference. Believe it or not, that that probably would be enough to increase the launch uh, and and decrease the spin that for, much. For the for the two. Oh, I yeah, see. What you're saying. On, yeah, on yeah. on that one, on the last one there, yes. on both drives, that ten millimeter difference uh, in the vertical impact is in. Uh, well, yeah, I mean that's that's definitely what we would see. Interesting. Um, love that one. Okay, a couple more, Paul. Okay. Like that nice little draw. You could certainly play a lot of golf with that. Another one that felt good as well. Yeah. A little spinnier that one. Mm -hmm. You can definitely see it had a little, little bit more spinning. And guys, when we, uh, you know, when people go, how, how do you know that that's spinning? Yeah. Spin creates lift. Yes. When that ball is on its way out there, you can see the ball, you know, get increased lift. Um, mm. Your biggest thing, Paul, your swing is great and it's very consistent and all these good things are happening. The biggest variable is that strike point. Right. So it's all management of that. That was, that was another good hit, but you can see when you do dip a fraction below the equator of the club, it we, gets, we have a- The spin rates get way up there, yeah, yeah. Without a doubt. But at the end of the day, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You're gonna, you're gonna lose a few yards. Right. You're not, you're not hit, you've not missed a fairway there, you're 11 yards offline. If you if you lose a few yards but you're in the fairway, that's a pretty good that's a pretty oh, good 100%. scenario. It's, it's, it's a good way to play. Get, 100 percent game and misses, play. right? You miss, lot, you miss it in the fairway, you're still doing okay. Definitely, a lot of people would look at that and go, "Oh, he's got to he's got to you know slash that spin yeah. rate and yeah. get that down and get it around 1800 and you know hit it way longer." No. I don't I don't see that for Paul because I think if we did get the spin that low, we would start to really get some aggressive curvature going on, yeah, and, sure. and I wouldn't be the last thing I want. Like you said, you don't play enough golf yeah. to really these days, um, you know, be, be on top of your swing as much as you would want. Right. You're a really good player, really consistent. But the reality is 270 in the fairway is better than 285 in, you know, without, yeah. either side of the, without the, the bushes without yeah, for you. So, right. talk, talk to us about that shaft. Well, Paul's team. Yeah. So Kuro you, you you updated that one versus what he had. What was the goal with that? Kurokagi XT uh, is is a stiffer profile in the tip section. So again, trying to eliminate a little bit of the right side of the course. Mm -hmm. I've actually bumped him up into an X flex. Okay. Um, cool. So playing 65 S in yours. I just wanted to see how you'd react with react with X flex. You're fluctuating around 109, 111 uh, in club speed. So you're yep. you're about there. Uh, you're you're the on the edge uh, of, of kind of being a natural X or, or right. a kind of really stable stiff. That's a question we get so much is, yeah. is this is my numbers, am I a stiff or an X? Yeah. And it's, it's way more fluid than that, yeah. as you've said. It may, based on the person's ball mm. flight, like Paul, you're, you're using the X to limit a shot. You're right. not giving him an X because that's his swing speed. Right. An, an S might have suited him if he was hitting it more left, for example. Yep. And, and, and another thing being, if, if we start to encourage too much deflection in the shaft, mm. we start getting the head working up too much. We start encouraging that low strike on the face right. as well. Right. So, so this, this should actually help bring his strike point a little higher. A little bit higher. Interesting. Yep. yep. Okay. okay. One more with this one for okay. us, Paul. Sure. Just fine. How'd that feel? It felt good low on the face yep. again though. Low on the face. Definitely low on the face. That's your, that's your stock there. Yeah. You know, 275-ish, yeah. a little low on the face. You know you've left a little yeah. in the tank. Yeah, it felt like it was way, way down yeah. bottom groove. But it's, it's managing his spin. I mean, for, for as low a strike as that was, yeah. he probably could have been spinning that 4,000 with his driver and hitting a 250. You were hitting some Closer to like 250 with, with that my shot. driver, yeah. yeah the, so that, that low one is fine, 245 exactly. maybe, right? So it's helping for sure. So on the comparison, launches up a fraction, spin is also up a fraction, carry distance is net out exactly the same, ball speed is very, very similar. Right. So 
Um, let's have a look in the strike points. Okay, that's why. So we're striking it pretty much in the same spot. So we haven't influenced that part as much as we would like Enough, to yeah. So that, those couple of really low strikes mm -hmm. actually made that, that spin should be on average. If he, if, if he had 100 shots with yeah. each, we would definitely see it being a lower spin. But that strike point really was played, played the big, a big one. Part. Yeah. Good. OK, I'm going to try something else. Awesome. Put, okay. uh, how did that shaft feel? Did the X feel like a burden it to did, the swing? It did not feel. No. It, it actually, when I first put it down, I gave it a little waggle. It didn't feel like it was an X. It felt stiffer down the bottom, but it yeah. felt like there was more flex near up in the mid, the mid part of the shaft. Yeah. One, it, like that's the one that you gave me the first time I came in as well. Yeah, in the yeah. 70 TX. Yeah. I mean, what is, it's one of my real go-to shafts, um, Paul, for, for people who are transitioning into X, because it doesn't feel like an X. It no, plays like all. an X, yeah. so it can kind of cheat your feel a little bit. So the torque is a little bit higher, okay. uh, but the bend profile is pretty stable. So right. I can get what I want, you can get what you want, and then hopefully the result gets gets to where we need it right, to be. Okay. Okay. Okay, Paul. Uh, first, first option we gave you was was good, but a little bit too similar to your own. Never really kind of killed that spin no. rate the way we wanted to. Um, so second time around, so we've, we've went to the G four hundred max. Okay. Okay. We've went down in loft. We went from ten down to nine, but we've uh, we've going to go with a different shaft this time. Mm. We've went with the graphite design MJ six X. Okay. Okay. A little bit softer profile. So. The previous one was higher loft with a stiffer tip profile. Yep. This is lower loft with a softer tip profile. Right. So, you know, you can you can you know fight the battle either way, mm -hmm. but the, the the best thing to do is just test and see what works. I think this is what is the most interesting because if I was to make my best guess mm -hmm. and Paul came in and you weren't here, I would have probably said the LST yep. and, and a nice stiff shaft would be a good way for him to get lower spin. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, if he hit the exact same strike every time, yep. it is. Mm -hmm. But to take it to the next the next level and say, Paul, you're going to come in for a fitting and we're actually going to influence yeah. where you hit the, the ball in the club yeah. face is crazy. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think people have that experience getting no. fit most of the time. So it's no. going to be it's going to be a big difference. You'll be able to, for right. sure. to give them. Cool. Okay. Um, any any kind of differences to the feels that you know you've got this in your hands for a couple minutes now bigger head profile you bigger mentioned head that. profile definitely you can see the the face looks a lot more square i guess the way that's set and the yep. loft is loft looks like it's actually less than nine Interesting. does it yeah, yeah it looks, it looks, looks quite like less than nine quite yeah, straight it looks like it's a in my eye i guess it almost looks like a an eight or a seven oh. degree interesting okay let's uh let's let's hit a few and see what it does okay That felt a little healy. Yep. It sounded really good. That one good. felt good. That's high. It's a long carry, that it one, Paul. It looks really good. Excellent. Huh. huh. That's and still a little bit low in the... Oh, wow. And sub 3,000. Well, on the head, sub 3,000, but the launch was up um, a like, little bit more. Like almost th three or four degrees there. That's great. It sounded very solid. Yeah, really solid. That was a little quick in terms of swing. That was, that was really good. Did that feel like you were going to really hook that, Paul? Yeah. And that's, like, that's not a bad miss at all. Mm -hmm. it, it actually felt like it hit a little higher on the face. You did. You did. Yeah. 100%. You did, yeah. Good strike. Really mm -hmm. good. Okay. Excellent. It's better. A little, little quicker, a uh, little quicker club speed there as well. All right. Let's see what we're uh, getting. So with that shadow of a doubt, we've picked up the launch, dropped the spin, carries significantly improved yeah. because of both of those things. Speed is obviously a little bit better, but not not game changer. But this is this is the that is that's the big, big, big that's a big deal right there. Yeah, yeah. that mile an hour should only give them three yards. Yeah, right. So yeah. this the launch condition is where the yardage is coming from. Without a doubt. Um, okay. So you, so sorry, you just said there, Matt. Every one mile an hour is going to be about three extra yards. Yeah, well, and club head speed. So right. on, sorry, uh, yeah, club, club head, head, head speed. Okay. Yeah. Ball speed. All right, Paul. So. We're definitely seeing the, the raw ingredients we need to improve your ball flight. Absolutely. No question. The, the ball speed is, is increased quite a bit. Yep. Um, so that last one you know, was the first one we've, we've had touching, touching 160, just a, a few points below 160. 
uh, launches came up really nicely. 13 on average with the, the G400 Max. Yeah. So we're, we're getting towards what we want. Um, the only thing I would love to do now is start to tighten the dispersion. We've got that distance kind of almost where we need it. Yep. Now let's start making a fairway finder for you okay. as well. Okay, Beauty. so. Like that. I'm gonna make a couple little changes to this setup and uh, see if we can get that going. Okay, um, Paul, we've, we've kind of combined the first driver we gave you with the second one. So we've went with the first shaft, yep. slightly stiffer profile with the, the nine degree uh, G400 Max head, which was giving us perfect launch, launch conditions. Is, yeah. We just felt like it was a little bit too much draw. So we're just trying to shift that back to the, the center of the fairway. The, the cluster was actually really, really solid it and was. tight. Yep. You know, and, and actually, for some people, even if, if the ball's going to the same spot all the time, it's just a case of alignment at that point. Right. That's what I was going to say. He could, if he wanted to play that draw, you aim down for the sure. left side and play the draw. Without a doubt. Yeah. Um, so let, let's see how this one factors in a uh, slightly stiffer shaft with the, the G400 Max head. Okay. I think that that's a good way to go with Paul because having played with him, he mm. does shape tee shots in both directions. Right. So it, it makes more sense to give him something he can hit fades and draws with. For sure. That felt like it was way higher on the club that face, and I love that great, yeah. flight. Yeah. Ooh, great swing. Tell you what, you've got soft bounce there. Yes, I agree. That was really good. Excellent. Look at how much less ball speed, and he almost hit it. You know, he creeped closer yeah. to 300 with three mile an hour less ball speed. Great if you strike. if you strike them in in you know in the middle of the head and get kind of 14 launch, 2300 spin. You're, you're just like that, that, love that, that instantly ball felt like I, I could tell that almost felt like it hit the crown, but yeah, I guess yeah. I'm so used to being down, getting down that, at that the downward bottom. deflection. Yeah. I know. Very interesting. Good. All right. Let's see a couple more. Love the look of that one. That, that felt really, really, really nice. And I think it's fair to say, you know, 13 yards of run is probably quite. It's a little bit stingy. Uh, yeah, in summer, <laughs> summertime, I would imagine you would get a little more than yeah, 13 couple, out of it. We were just talking about A couple about more that, bounces. That there's so much variance, especially in, in the GTA with yeah. uh, some days you'll get no roll, but then if it hasn't rained in a while, you might get 30 yards of roll. But oh, the, carry, the carry distance that he's getting versus the other drivers, you know, that, mm -hmm. that will travel, doesn't matter where you go. You carry it that far with, with low spin, he's mm -hmm. going to be hitting the ball further regardless of condition. Definitely. Okay. Mm, that's great. That's nice. really that felt a little good. low again, and yeah, that yeah. felt like my old kind of quick hook right swing. Not a big Spin. difference. <laughs> so, I mean, the, the ball speed reflected the miss, but the launch and spin. No, didn't. it didn't at all. 2,700 yeah. spin. That's amazing. And 12 degrees of launch. That's so mm -hmm. good. So, you know, we talk about how good this G400 Max driver is all the time, but that's the, the perfect example of it. You've hit, you know, two shots back to back. One was just right in the button. You couldn't yep. hit it any better. Mm -hmm. The next one was not, you know, as good, and they're four yards apart, and right. both in the fairway, no, right. no issue at all. Yeah. Isn't that good? It's that's, really, that's cool. I can't believe how good that miss was. Yeah. Like, that, that's crazy. Yeah, so your, your miss pattern with the previous driver was, was 38 yards yeah. on average to the right. Yeah. This one's now at 13. Let's see a couple more that's, shots. Yeah. Yeah. That's, we're that's, we're that's, kind of getting what we're looking for. There's, here. there's no doubt this is a, a much better profile for him to hit a neutral I shot. I think so as And well. you can go out and hit fades with that, no problem. Yeah. That sounded good. That was me trying to see if we could fade it a little bit. Yeah, that's yeah. great. That's, really that's, nice fade. exactly what you want your fade to look like, just three yards soft. shorter than your draw. Yeah. Really, really good. And there's, there's uh, Paul's put together there a player's fade. Yes, we, we just talked about that. An into-out open-faced fade. Yep. So you've not shifted your club path to hit that fade. You've actually, if anything, you've still got it traveling from into out. You've just held the face a right. little bit to it. Mm -hmm. right. So rather than the, the face to path relationship being a little bit closed, it was actually a fraction open. Yeah, and just gave so, him that 10 yards of left. Really good. Okay, and then that strike point right between, yeah. Right between yeah. the two. But still to get a fade shot, which we know spins more, yeah. and a low strike, which we know spins more, to still keep it pretty much right at um, 3,000 and let him, let him hit a 282 fade is, mm -hmm. is so good. Because, Paul, you hit both shots. Like, when we play, you hit draws and fades. I hit draws and fades, you, yes. You, yeah. you definitely don't. I don't see you favoring one or the other. Mm -hmm. so no, I, you, I, I, do you know what? Lately, I've been trying to favor a bit of a fade. Yeah. yeah. But, 
just because of what my miss has yeah, been, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'll be really curious to see how the season plays out for you with mm. that, having a slightly different driver that's, that has kind of built in a bit more of a safety element to the, the low right one. Yeah, yeah. Um, that a little might... bit open in the head, a slightly stiffer shaft. Those, yeah. those sorts of uh, characteristics yeah. to the, the setup should help. Psychologically, you'll just be teeing up with more confidence, with not that fearing right. that shot. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see a couple more with this one. Okay. That felt really solid. So good. That's great. Almost hit the pin. Yep. Come on. Clo closest to the rope. <laughs> you probably win. <laughs> So still like a little low strike, yeah. but still it's, that it's, that was still low, eh? Just a bit, but managing managing a spin like it's not spiking thirty six like that uh, that the LST setup was. Without a doubt. I'm just gonna look in across the board here, and you know this one has the uh, the, the probably the, the best well the last two, but since we moved into the G four hundred Max, it is a much better launch angle right. profile. It's no doubt. Thirteen twelve point six. That's fine. Spin is is great. The uh, the second last one was spinning less, but only because we were turning it over so much. Yep. Okay, so this one's much, much more online and is, is very similar spin. And so, he was able to mix in a fade in there and yeah. still get good numbers with it. Yeah, without a doubt. And then, you know, the, the previous driver at 293 versus this one at 286, I'm going to tell the player to go with the 286 in the fairway for sure every time. And that one that was a big draw is really the reason that that, that number is so much higher on yeah. average. It was really just the one swing that gave him that extra. Without a doubt. Okay, one more for me, and so that'll... This, uh, this one's just, it, this, this actual setup's peaking a little bit higher in the air. Yeah, it is, definitely. And when you really catch one, Paul, yep. you will, uh, at that launch angle, and you kind of catch one a fraction higher in the face, just, just wait to see what that does. The cool. one that spins at 2200, um, it's just, it's going to be probably 305. I'm, I'm going to try my ball position just a little bit, for, just a, a, a shade further back. Okay. okay. <clears throat> and see if that's going to change my, my strike point at all. Certainly came out flatter. It, 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 it's much flatter. Yep. Carried very nicely. A little on the heel, Paul? Do you know what? Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell where, yeah. where I caught that one. It's because it it's did, really It didn't stable. feel much different than any Just of the other ones. Low. Yeah. I mean, I hit 3 mil on the heel, uh, 10 mil low. Honestly, just if you go out there and hit slightly low strikes, 285, like you're going to be happy. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's yeah. so good. And you will for sure, it's the middle of winter. You've been teaching, you haven't been able to practice. Once you get your strike point up, you're yeah. going to be hit, he'll be hitting some 300 yard drives, no problem. No trouble. Absolutely yeah. no trouble at all. Um, no, this is, this is a really, really good driver. We talked about trying to get you around that 100 feet in peak. That's where your average is sitting right on 100 feet. Beautiful. Um, you know, ball speed, it hasn't, hasn't changed a whole ton from your own driver. No. I mean, it's still 156.1 versus 156.5. Yeah. Right. We did have a bit of a, a, a low one in there, the 154. That was the one we caught really low in the face, but yep. we still maintain good launch and spin. I just think this driver has a little more upside for you that when you really start to hit it well, the high launch is sitting waiting for you to pair it up with good low spin. Right. Then you'll start to get the distance yeah. with it. The rest of the time, it's just a fairway finder. That's the thing. It, his misses are, are going 20 yards further yeah. and straighter. And yeah. then and, and he's not losing anything on his very, very best strikes. He'll be hitting them just as far as something else. Without, without a doubt. That's really, really good. So quite similar. There's, there's your ping, uh, G. So we've yep. got a little bit more carry distance out the higher launch. Yep. The total is about the same, but like we said, once you get that strike point a little higher in the head, 2200, 2300 spin, that, that becomes 300 right. very quickly. Yeah. Okay. Really good. Good. Thoughts and feels awesome. with, with this particular one? Did uh, it feel it, pretty it, good? Do you know what? This, this driver feels very stable in my hands. Good. It's, you kind of get up there, as you said, I don't feel like I got to be careful. Yeah. Like, yeah. I made a few swings throughout this time where I thought they were going to be that quick snap right. hook to the right. And it almost, like, even this last one almost felt like it might get a little right and actually mm -hmm. a little fade to it. And that's that MOI really uh, playing its part, that moment of inertia where yeah. you do feel the strikes a little bit off center and the head kind of torquing a little bit. Then you look up and the, the, it's a pleasant little straight kind of fade or, yeah. or a little, a little, little, little bit draw. Of a draw yeah. 
really, really That's nice. That's exactly mm -hmm. what I noticed when I tested it in mm -hmm. the video a couple videos ago. Slight mishits or shots you yeah. thought would be bad just weren't. Like they, they, nice. they came yeah. out quite nice. Definitely. Paul, thanks. Uh, that yeah. was that yeah. was really good. Thank um, you. We're going to try and get you back on the, the show as, as much as your yeah. time allows. Yeah, I would love to. Without a shadow it's of a doubt. Very enjoyable. Guys, this has just shown you the importance of you know, getting that balanced flight, taking into consideration the, the kind of miss that the player has. It's not always about gaining everyone 15, 20 no, yards. No. You know, it's Although not, you did give him 15, 20 yards. Yeah, we, 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 got, we got some distance gains. Yeah. Um, I think it's just all about building a, a driver that's good and, and takes into consideration the preferences, the tendencies, and the overall, the overall package. And go and shoot a score better than what you were shooting. 100%, mm -hmm. definitely. Excellent stuff. Guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.